Now before doing practice set 2.2, let's do the properties first. The first property says that the corresponding angles are congruent. That means each pair of corresponding angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal, it is a congruent angle. For example, see this. Now when we say this and this are corresponding, so that means this and this are going to be congruent because they are corresponding. Similarly, alternate angles are also congruent and interior angles are supplementary. Supplementary means they form an angle together like for example, say this and this, say A and B. Together, they are going to measure 180 degree. So these are the three properties which you need to keep in mind and based on these properties, we are going to solve sums. Exercise uh, 2.2, that is practice set 2.2, the first sum says, choose the correct alternative in the adjoining figure, if M is parallel to N and P is the transversal, then find X. Now, basically, this is 3X and this is X. They want you to find the value of X. You remember those three properties? First property said corresponding angles were congruent. Second said alternative angles were congruent. Third said that interior angles are supplementary. Now, these two angles are interior angles, okay? So, this 3x plus x is going to be 180 since the, the interior angles are supplementary. So, 3x plus x is going to be 180 degree. Why? Interior angles are supplementary. Okay, so 3x plus x is 180. Therefore, 4x. 3x plus x is 4x. 3x plus 1x is 4x is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180 divided by 4. 4 ones are 4, 4 fours are 16. Carry to 4 fives. Are. So therefore, value of x is 45 degree. That means c is the correct option. The second sum says in the adjoining figure, if L Line A is parallel to line B and line L is the transversal, then find X. Now here you have 4X, here you have 2X. And this is 2X, so this will also be 2X, okay, because it's vertically opposite, fine. This is 2X, this will be 2X because it's vertically opposite. So vertically opposite angles are equal. Now these two become interior. So together they make 180 degrees. So 4x plus 2x is equal to 180 degree. Why? Interior angles are supplementary. Okay, so 4x plus 2x is 6x. 4 plus 2 is 6x is equal to 180. So x is equal to this 6 comes down 180 upon 6. 6 ones are 6 threes are 0. So is equal to 30 degree. That means D is the correct option. Now let's do the next sum. Now we'll do sum number 2. In this sum, they have given us a figure. They say line P is parallel to line Q and line T and S, they are the, they are the transverses. We have to find the measure of angle X and angle Y using the measures given in the figure. So they have given us this and this that is 40 and 70. Now we have to find out X and Y. So what we'll do is first consider this and this like let's see, call this A and let's call this B. Okay. So we'll have like consider angle A and angle B as shown in the figure okay so we'll just label it so that it becomes easier to solve now see this is 40 so a will be 40 because they are corresponding angles so angle a is equal to 40 degree we'll write the reason if you want you can label this also say we call this as c Okay, this will be C. So, uh, so angle A is equal to 40 degree. Why? Because corresponding 
angles are congruent okay so now angle a is 40 now if this is 40 how much will this be now a and x are forming a linear pair so what happens is angle a plus angle x is equal to 180 degree why because it forms a linear pair okay so a is 40 we already know because since c is 40 okay and they are corresponding angles so you have 40 plus angle x is 180 degree so angle x is 180 minus 40 so angle x is equal to 140 degree okay now angle y we have to find out we got angle x angle x is 140 so now this is 70 okay so this will also be 70 so let's call this d now d is 70 b will be 70 why because they are vertically opposite angles so we write it here angle d is equal to angle b is equal to 70 degree why vertically opposite angles are congruent okay vertically opposite angles are congruent so this is 70 now this plus this they become interior angles and interior angles form uh, 180 degree that is their supplementary so this b plus y is going to be 180 degrees so angle b plus angle y is equal to 180 degree reason will be interior angles are supplementary okay so interior angles are supplementary b is 70 so 70 plus y is equal to 180 degree so y is equal to 180 minus 70 angle y is, go, is going to be 110 degree so x is 140 and y is 110 degree i hope this is clear to you